Before me, I have two laptops, the HP Omen and the HP Omen, a Ryzen 9 5900HX versus the Ryzen 7 5800H. Now, the Ryzen 9 has the RTX 3070 and the Ryzen 7 has the RTX 3060. Should you go ahead and get more of the kind of standard HP Omen or should you make the upgrade to the more beefy HP Omen? Let's find out. Now, first and foremost, these laptops are exactly the same. They come with the same color gamut range, build quality, ports, keyboard, screen, just they're the same. So I'm not even gonna waste your time with that. If you want my thoughts on the build quality and the user experience of the laptop, I'll link the unboxing here. Otherwise, let's jump right into the performance to save you guys some time. If you're curious about the exact pricing differences and availability of these two laptops, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, we'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Jumping right into Cinebench R20 and R23, as well as Geekbench, you can see that the Ryzen 9 5900HX takes the crown. So it does outperform it, but not by a landslide. It definitely is about 10 to 15% more powerful than the Ryzen 7. Moving on to 3D modeling, again, you can see the Ryzen 9 standing out, but it really isn't that big of a gap. You're again seeing about a 10 to 15% increase in performance by choosing the Ryzen 9 5900HX. Moving on to After Effects, you can see about a 50 point increase in performance for the standard benchmark. And in the render benchmark, you're seeing 13 points increase in performance. Moving on to video editing, you can see the different export times provided on the screen for both Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Now regarding playback, both of these laptops handle playback very well. They both see quite a bit of struggles on red footage, but for 4K and 6K B-RAW, they both do a great job. For Photoshop, these laptops are neck and neck, only about a 20 point difference between these two CPUs. Photoshop really does focus on the CPU more than the GPU, and that extra performance in the 5900HX is showing a little bit of advantage there. Now, one of the biggest points of contention to me is going to be the thermals. Now, the thermals are definitely better in the Ryzen 7 5800H. The HP Omen is able to control the thermals better than the super hot piping Ryzen 9 5900HX. I saw much higher temperatures, well, not much higher, but I saw higher temperatures out of the 5900HX over the 7 5800H. Personally, if it were me, if I were making this purchase, I would lean towards the Ryzen 7 5800H for the thermals. However, if you want a little bit more juice, a little bit more performance out of your laptop, the Ryzen 9 5900HX is a great pick. Now, keep in mind that we are seeing high temperatures in these laptops during the active process of either an export or 3D modeling work or Photoshop. But as soon as you pull out of that program, the thermals drop very quickly down to 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. So it's not so much that these laptops are gonna remain at that temperature once you come out of the programs and they just are terrible at cooling. They just have a lot of heat while running inside of a program specific tasks. I hope that gives you a little bit of perspective on the thermals. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you want to miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one. Just a small town computer, trying to get into your hands. He took the midnight FedEx, trying to reach your door.